and a white one. What do you say? Thanks. Well, I think I'm gonna go see if that jukebox is working. I guess I should have gotten him the BB gun. Where do you think you're going? Kelly's. No, we're going to the den and discuss the way you've been conducting yourself. What? Pamela went out of her way to get you this present. I thanked her. It was the way you thanked her. Dad, give me a break. It's a shirt, not a BB gun. What's the big deal anyways? She's very important to me. So what's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. Look, just because you may like her, it doesn't mean I have to. Oliver. Hey, Ollie, what'd you do with your extra ticket for graduation? I don't know. Well, you better find it. Someone else needs to use it. <gasps> Mom? Hi, Ollie. I can't believe you're here. I'm here. Oh, would I miss my son's graduation, huh? Look at you. Do you know what on earth have you been feeding him? Everything the beaver doesn't grab first. <laughs> Hi, beaver. Kimberly. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Boy, Mom, I'm glad you're here. Kelly's science project. So, do you think Kimberly's going to move back to Italy? Well, she's looking for a place to open a veterinary practice. She says that she wants to be closer to her family. Well, isn't it a little late for that? The boys are almost grown. And what about that Count Rossini she was engaged to? Talking about Aunt Kimberly? Go on. Was she really going out with a Count? Don't you have a speech to prepare for? I already typed it. Uh, prove it. I did. Memorize it. I never get to hear the juicy stuff. Mary Ellen, maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Kimberly is here now, and we should try to be nice to her for the boy's sake. No, oh, I suppose you're right. But it just galls me that after five years and all that Italian food, look at that figure. <laughs> Yes, I am. And you're Beaver's... Uh, yes, I am. We must face the hypnotic spell of apathy eye to eye and overpower it. There are some who say we Americans have lost our greatest, that our country is inexorably sliding downhill, that because of our innate selfishness, we no longer are willing to make the sacrifices necessary to keep the strength great. That was at his ankles. Are you blind? As individuals, we can make a difference. Thank you very much. Very good, Sally. Congratulations. Michael Clark. Congratulations, Michael. Kelly Cleaver. Congratulations. Oliver Cleaver. Made it. Congratulations. <laughs> George Dean. Very good, George. Come on up here. Carol Derrick. Hey, folks.
let's off to college, eh, Kip? Yep. Say, did I ever tell you about my college days? If I said yes, would you believe me? Oh, it was unbelievable. A 60-page paper, a 12-page report, hours and tons of homework every night. Oh, how'd you get through it? Yeah, I didn't. I dropped out and went to work for my father. <laughs> Oliver! Come on, hurry up. We want to get these pictures taken before everybody gets here. How come you're not wearing the shirt that Pamela gave you? Beaver, don't you like the shirt I got him? I get it. Oh, hi, Pamela. Come I get it. Ooh, crispy treats. I love those. Oh, help yourself. Thanks. So, how's the graduate feeling? Looking forward to being a college man? Mm, absolutely. I mean, college is the best time of your life, right? Well, actually, I remember 60-page papers and 20-page papers and hours of homework. Yeah, senior year. No, first week. Hi, Pamela. Hi. Come on, Kip. Let's go get some pictures of the family. Oh, excuse me. He's just starting. <laughs> Don't wait up. Now, where were we? Come on, boys. Great party. Yeah, great party. I cleaned the bathroom as best I could. <laughs> Boy, Eddie sure hasn't changed. Yeah, pretty pathetic, isn't it? Beaver, you know, I've been meaning to tell you, you've really done a great job with the boys. Well, that was a lot of work, but well worth it. Well, I think you should be very proud of yourself. Well, you should too. I mean, studying veterinary medicine in a foreign country and... Gee... I had trouble just learning stuff in English. Yeah, well, you know, coming home to an empty apartment at the end of 12 hours kind of makes you lonely. Tell me about it. Did, did, did I tell you that uh, Oliver's baseball team won his last two games? No, you didn't. That's great. Does he still run through your signs? Every time. Well... That's our Ollie. Beaver, our wedding album? I can't believe you didn't throw this away. I thought about it, but then I remembered how much the photographer charged. I haven't seen this in years. Look! There's Eddie making devil corn behind the minister's head. <laughs> My sideburns really that long. Yes. 
Oh, boy, we look so young. We were. Everything was so wonderful then. It was so perfect. Beaver, I always thought we'd be together forever. So did I. Kimberly, don't. Beaver. Eastern, they're blazing a trail across the wild, wild west. It's Alan Ladd in The Big Land. Then at 9 o'clock, join host Tom Chapin for the world premiere of National Geographic Explorer. And now, NWA main event is next on TBS, cable's most popular network. Oh. <laughs> 